I mean, how did you? Because things like I don't know, maybe I, maybe because I'm not so talented or so bright. <laughs> how did you go get to the point where you said, ah, Fuji? I mean, Fuji is considered this wild child, as it were. You know, how did you come come up with the idea of mixing Fuji with Christianity and not just Christianity? Pentecostal Christianity, for that matter, which yeah. is, which can in some ways be very, you know, straight laced and. See, I, I went through a lot of persecution. A lot of Christians are Pharisees. They can only see from afar. See, they will judge you. You're not a Christian. You're not this. You're not that. Because but, you sing Fuji. Because yes, mm. they call, they consider it to be a kind of a ghetto song, mushy kind of you know music. Mm. But I'm not going to. Didn't deceive. they see what Jesus did, interacting with ah, the poor, see, the prostitute, the destitute, and all? Right in front of them, eh, perform a miracle here now. Tomorrow, people will talk. Ah, for me, that did so. So give them two, three days. Nobody can remember again. Mm. You have to continuously perform in that miracle. You know? So when I've, I've, I've heard a lot of rubbish about me and stuff like that, but you know what? I, I thank you for the kind of person that I am because of what I've been through when I was growing up. I love people. I just want to reach out to people. I want to organize. I realize that it's a tool to actually reach out to the so-called area boys. Mm. I've had uh, uh, shows with them who get food, get drinks. Then... I've been able to like save a lot of drug addicts by doing all that because when we have that, which by the time you start playing your music, they don't even listen to your lyrics. You just hear yeah, that talking drum, mm. you know, and they, those people are communicating. Mm. Da, da. Mm. Da. I want to hear that. Ah, yeah, oh, they come out. You know, by the time they, they come out to meet you, then if you have a message, you, know, you share it with them. I've seen a lot of them, you know, telling you that, see, we want to do this. Well, we don't know how to go about it. But truly speaking, it's a music is a way that you can reach out. Okay, look at it, it's a web that that is nothing but the truth. So when I see an artist writing rubbish, you are going to like a lot of youth are looking up to you, and you, you must not you must not mislead them. I'm telling you, I'm writing a song now about lesbianism and stuff like that because one, a lot of people are going through a lot, and we have to write a song that can. When they are in their room, they can, you can let them know that. Forget about it. You that you have been molested, you've been raped before. Believe me, you can get back on the track. That's what devil is trying to do to you. But yeah, I mean, so, but you now went and dabbled into acting. I mean, you didn't even warn me about that one. Like, here I am. I'm always starving for Tune Kilani's films. One of my dreams is one day, I will just have, just go and meet TK. I say, TK. <laughs> Actually, you you have to, I think you are good in that area, and I think that, that's the kind of thing I just want to. I just say first, for example, you see that book, Obojo or Denny no room on it. That forest of a thousand spirits. Wow. Let's do a film version. Let's now do animated, you know, stuff like that. So here I am waiting for TK's new film, and Abeni comes out, yeah. and I'm enjoying Abeni as usual. Ah, TK, Baba, thank you for doing better film, and then all of a sudden, ah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's in this role, comic role, with this other guy, and they were, they were just fantastic. What? Where did all that come from? I'm not going to lie to you. I give God the glory and I thank God for Tunde Kilani. Tunde Kilani supported me out about 10 years ago. And do you know when Tunde Kilani told me what I needed to do before I can work with him, I hated him immediately. <laughs> he just said, See, what's your background? What's your educational qualification? I said, School sir. I didn't want him to know that the schools are self, not complete. <laughs> just to see, for you to work with me, Dekle, you have to go back to school. Right. I just asked myself, Happy Baba Yahweh. At 25, no, this is me. At 25, where am I going to start? Already from? building a you name. Know, already building a name. What do you want? But do you know what? I went to a continuing education center. I sneaked there in the, day, in, the after, in the evening time. I would spend like four or five hours then. I paid them because I was started getting shows. Got my, you know, results complete. Then I entered, I went to Union Lag. And I said, see, I'm studying theater. It's related to the course of what I'm actually doing already. After five years, I went to meet Nick Lani. Hey, Baba. Certificate to you. Yeah, Daddy, I was trying to discourage you from disturbing me. I <laughs> see. <laughs> there is nothing you can say. Sorry. So if, if, if the first role he gave me was on the campus screen, Olu Allah. And he says, oh, yes, yeah. 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 you don't have to act. This is you. Chase, chase all the girls and you know all the bad boys. I said, no, I don't want to be portrayed as a bad boy. You know when you do a when you play a bad boy in, in Lagos in Nigeria, when they see you outside, they just like mm. yeah, mm, that's a bad guy. Yeah. So after that, four or five years, I didn't hear from him again. 
I went to see him again, just to sell it to him. I'm like, ah, definitely God brought you here for a purpose. Guess what? There is a rule here. Just collect the scripts. Go and read it. See, Tony Kelani just believes in me. I don't know why. And you know, Tony Kelani's production, there is always everything available. The atmosphere is... We went to Kutoni to shoot the movie. We were there for about four weeks. And to God be the glory, whenever I'm going, I'm just coming Laku and just like... Where did these guys are coming like I'll now remember okay Abeni. But to call the story short, after Abeni, I've done about twelve productions. And I just thank God for what he has done through to the clan. Fantastic. I mean, I got I, the reason why I knew I must do this job. I've said it before. Was one day after I've done one documentary, and Tunde Kilani calls and said, "Talo Shekini, who put that together?" And they said it was Fumi. Said, "I jail on Monday, sha." And see, they didn't call you. And they've been calling me and jail. And it was, I mean, Tunde Kilani is a germ in this environment. Oftentimes, we don't recognize the truly great amongst us. Okay.